all the bags I'm taking with me to Japan. Hello, welcome or welcome back to Classics with a Quirk, where we talk about contemporary and luxury designer items and brands with a touch of silliness. This is the kind of content you find interesting. Please do like this video and subscribe for more of it. Thank you. I always say my intro super duper fast. Uh, I'm trying to get through it. I don't know. I've said it a lot of times over the past three years that I've been on YouTube. So, you know, quick. <laughs> As some of you might know, because I've talked about it nonstop for several weeks, if not several months, I'm going to be in Japan for part of October and I'm super duper excited. I have test packed, I've gotten most of my stuff together, I've gotten the paperwork that I needed, I am as ready as I think I can be, except for I don't feel ready at all because I've still got stuff left to do, but I'm trying my best. And one of the things that I've done, aside from pre-packing and test packing and picking all of my outfits, is that I've also picked the bags that I'm going to be taking with me, and today I thought I'd share that with you. I have four bags that I'm taking with me on this trip, aside from my like carry-on luggage, which I think sounds probably a little bit excessive for a, a two-week trip, or maybe not. Maybe you would pick as many bags as I am. If you think that you take four bags, if not more or, or less, please let me know. I think that for what I'm doing and what I, I want to have in my variety of my wardrobe, I think four is reasonable. Uh, but if you disagree or you agree with me, please do let me know. So I'm going to just get right into it and tell you what I'm taking and why. And hopefully the reasons that why I'm taking it like explain sort of, you know, what why I'm taking four things. So the first bag I'm going to be taking is my vintage Louis Vuitton Cabas Meso, and this is going to be my personal item for the plane and just for touting around a bunch of stuff while I'm there. I brought this with me to Italy when I went last year and I actually have a video about what I bring in my Cabas Meso when I, I take it places. So I'll link that video for you. It does tell you kind of everything that can fit in this because this thing is a beast and holds a bunch as well as kind of like what I take with me on a trip when I plan especially for a long flight. I don't have it completely packed to the brim yet because I'm not leaving for a little while and I just wanted to like keep some of my things available to me before I left obviously but I want to show you some of the things that I do actually have in here really quick and one of the reasons why I take you know, such a big bag because I do ch carry like a change of uh, the small things inside. I take like my chargers, cables, external battery, all that stuff goes in here. But I also, <laughs> I also take um, chocolates. <laughs> I have, I'm going to be doing two flights while I'm there, a long and a short, a connecting. And so I have chocolates. I always bring chocolates for the flight attendants when I go on flights, especially longer flights, because they work very hard and I think, you know, it's nice to show them a token appreciation. So these are Ferrero Rocher, uh, or Ferrero Ro Ferrero Rocher, I don't actually know how to pronounce that. I don't particularly like these myself because I'm not a huge hazelnut fan, but I know that these are always well received when I get them. I usually get these are like Lindor truffles. And so this is for the short foot, this is for the long one, and I hope that they enjoy. Uh, and obviously these are big packages, so they fit in here with ease along with like my iPad and everything else I want to take with me. But uh, that is also what I have. I also have a little packet of Lindor truffles. This is the um, caramel milk chocolate one that I'm going to be taking with me and just giving out to um, the various people I might interact with um, in the airports, like the airport staff, because I also think that they deserve to be appreciated. So I'm just taking a lot of chocolate with me um, on the way there. And obviously, because I'm going to be giving this out as I am traveling, I will have a lot less in my bag when I get to Japan, but it's just like for the trip, this is sort of uh, what I do. So uh, that's just something that is in my giant bag and one of the reasons it is this big and obviously like I want to bring my iPad for doing work on the plane and um, all my batteries as I said and like a toiletry kit uh, just for the flight. So that is my Cabas Meso. This is such a good bag. It's a workhorse bag. This is a uh, discontinued style. It's on the pre-love market though and I will link some for you down below. I love this bag. I love this style. I love that it has a zipper for added security. That's one of the reasons that I've shied away from using the Neverfull purchasing it and using it as a travel bag is because it's open and like this you can zip close that's like that's so convenient and so secure and that means that when you put it under your seat if it flops over your things don't spill out which is a, a continual fear of mine for the Neverfull and something I've seen as like a con for the Neverfull so this has a zipper it's great this is about this is about the same size as the Neverfull MM because this is the mezzo size it's the medium size. I also have a Cabas uh, piano, like the PM size, which I think is great for every day. I've talked about both of these like 
a lot on my channel so I'm gonna leave it there but I do recommend this bag it's great and you can find it for like excellent deals in the pre-love market so that's just you know something I'd recommend the next bag I'm taking with me to Japan and in direct contrast to the giant kibas meso is this this is my Saint Laurent envelope clutch in the mixed matelasse style it's got really long name it's in this beautiful green color this is a, a discontinued color um you can still get the clutch um, on regular websites like Saks, uh, Selfridges. I'll, I'll link some for you below. Selfridges often has this for a discounted price and I'm going to link that for you, the Selfridges price. And the nice thing about buying on Selfridges, if it's under $800, if you're US, you don't have to pay uh, customs and duties. It puts the custom and duties into your cart before you start checking out. But once you put in your address, those go away. So you only have to pay taxes and you can get these for like several hundred dollars other current retail. This does retail currently this particular style currently retails for $8.25 and then the regular tri-quilting or not tri-quilting the regular chevron quilting without the mixed matelasse retails for $7.95 as of making this video and honestly I think it's worth it YSL isn't in discounts or sales anymore um, except for like when you can get it on Selfridges for less expensive but uh, this is such a great bag I use it all the time it's a great little thing uh, it's a clutch and I'm taking the wristlet strap with me too, but I also convert this into a crossbody bag with a chain and a little addition. I made a video about how I did that, so I'll link that video for you below. It's uh, super simple, so, and you also can adjust the chain to whatever length you want in that uh, instruction video, so I, I will link it. But I, I love this bag. I use it all the time at home too. It's a great like grab and go errands bag. And the reason I'm taking this with me to Japan is because I am taking two other bags, which I'll show you. And this bag is like, if I'm going out in the evening for dinner or I don't need to carry a lot of stuff or I want something a little bit nicer than like a casual bag or I want something smaller, this is what I'm bringing. It's obviously, it's so small, it packs flat and it fits a decent amount for its size. Like this will fit uh, a card holder or a recto versa, which is my wallet of choice. It'll fit a wallet, it'll fit keys, it'll fit my phone. A wallet is also a recto versa, so I don't know why I said that. Okay, hang on backtrack it'll fit a small wallet like a recto verso or a card holder keys a phone it'll even fit like a, a perfume or a lipstick or something in this so it, it's it's a great bag i really highly recommend this it's something that i talk about all the time as well at my channel so <laughs> i won't wax poetic too much more but i'm taking this with me as i said it packs flat so it'll be really good for just like throwing in my carry-on and not having to worry about it the third bag that i'm going to be taking with me to japan and i thought about this really hard because i'm going to be doing certain things like i'm going to be going to tokyo disney sea i'm going to be doing some days when i'm really walking around a lot i'm also going to be doing some days where i'm doing some interactive like activities like i'm going to a uh, team labs museum like they're like set up and that's like a lot of interaction there's like a room with water there's a like a flower room there's like you know it's it's going to be a lot of walking and it's going to be kind of uh, a lot of like the elements so i want to take a bag that was hearty but also was like kind of cool and sort of casual that i could just like cross body and wear and, and not have to worry about it but would still fit like a little bit more than the clutch and so what i'm taking with me is my louis vuitton foliage trunk or my louis vuitton mini soft trunk in the foliage pattern i love this bag i unboxed it earlier this year on my channel i'll link that unboxing for you if you're interested i also talked a little bit about the folio collection the foliage collection and like a little bit more of the fashion show side of it so if you're interested i again i'll link that video for you and this bag is beautiful it is so cool the print goes all the way around the bag and i love the details on it and it's just it's so much fun and it's so brightly colored. I thought this would be a great Japan bag. Like this screams like a great like kind of fashion bag that I'll be able to like carry around with me. It's got a crossbody uh, strap that isn't a removable. It is a little bit adjustable, but I probably won't be adjusting it uh, anymore because like I don't, I don't mind the length. The bag is actually pretty roomy for its size. Like it's very compact, but it opens pretty wide. And it fits a decent amount. I show you what fits in my unboxing video. So again, I will link that for you. This will fit my phone and external battery, which I will be taking with me because I'm going to be trying to vlog the trip. So I'm gonna need an external for my phone. I'm also gonna be taking like my wallet in here, my coin purse. Uh, Japan is very cash heavy. So uh, a wallet that has uh, room for like yen dollars as well, not dollars, yen paper money as well as coins is a must. And like that's kind of going to be most of what I need uh, for like just a long daily carry bag. The other thing that I'm going to be fitting in here is a reusable bag. So if I get anything when I'm at Disney Sea or anything like that, I can just pop into the reusable bag and I don't have to worry about like trying to 
cram something in here, which I will not be able to do. I love this bag. I think it's so attractive. I really am enjoying wearing it when I do, and I'm looking forward to taking it into Japan and just being able to like have kind of this like cool fashion-y bag with me on the days that I wear it. I'm gonna like the variety. It's also like a darker color as opposed to my Saint Laurent, so I have that variety too, even though it's like got these bright colors on it. It's like a base dark neutral. So I, I think it'll work well for the outfits that I have planned. And as I said, I test packed and, and pre-planned most of my outfits. So I kind of know what I'm going to be wearing with which things. So I, you know, I think it'll work out pretty well. And it's just a little bit bigger than the YSL. So it's not as like evening, you know, so I think it's a little bit more cool casual. So I think that between the YSL and this, I have a really good variety for uh, a, a bag that is like smaller. The last bag that I'm going to be taking to Japan is gonna be my everyday carry. And so I'm gonna be switching between this bag and the, the Louis Vuitton trunk. And the reason that I picked the bag that I'm going to show you as my everyday carry is because it matches with a lot. I'm really looking forward to taking out and about. Uh, Japan is a very safe country, so I think that I'm going to be very comfortable carrying the bag. And also, I, I'm really looking forward to just like really using it hardcore. And so the bag that I'm going to be taking with me as my everyday carry that is going to carry a little bit more than the Louis Vuitton trunk is going to be this bag. This is my Hermes Kelly in the 32 size Cellier in box cap blue jean. I... I know that it might be like, I don't know if you think it's unusual to take an Hermes bag like across international like borders in order to like carry it. But I did that last year with my Delvo. I took my Delvo as my main carry bag and I really enjoyed carrying it. I really enjoyed utilizing it. I liked how much room it had and I loved the fact that it was a top handle as well as the option for shoulder. Not that I ever use the shoulder strap, but I liked that it was an option. And so I think that I'm comfortable doing the same thing with my Kelly because I already, I already did it once. This is going to be my personal item bag. Like I'm gonna be, so I actually, it's like a little bit of a trick <laughs> with how I'm gonna be taking this with me to Japan because I'm not putting this in my luggage. So I'm taking my carry-on, my, my rolling luggage with me to Japan. I'm taking my kibasa meso as my personal item. Why do I get a third bag to hand carry? This is my medical bag, which is a little bit silly to say. I think that's kind of hilariously ironic that I'm going to be taking an Hermes bag as my medical bag, but there you go. What that means is that when you travel with a lot of medications, you are allowed to basically have a third bag to house the medications that is, that's only for the medications. So uh, my sibling does this a lot as well, that they have so many things that they have to take, like syringes and bandages and medical stuff, that they have their regular luggage and their carry-on, but they also have like a third medical bag. And so airlines are not allowed to discriminate against you for having to take medications and they're not they don't basically force you to like fit all your medications in your personal item. You're allowed to take a third bag for that. So all of my medications are going to go into my Hermes Kelly, which I will be hand carrying with me on the plane. And uh, it's good that I'm doing that because I had to test pack this bag to see if all my medications fit and it fits like up to the very top, but it all does fit so great. Uh, it works out really well. And if they're like, why are you taking a third bag and a fancy one? I'll just be like, here go. And I open it up and it's just filled with prescription bottles. So, you know, it works out. It's so silly. I, it's just so silly how many things I'm on, honestly. <laughs> but uh, the one of the reasons that I have to take all of that stuff with me is because Japan is very serious about import and export of medications. And so I have to, I can't just take like a pill bottle that I fill with all my stuff. I have to take the actual pill bottles with my name and address on them and, and showing the prescription and the dosage. And so actually one of the things I have to do to prepare for the trip is I have to take all my bottles, count out the amount of pills or you know whatever tablets that I'm going to need for the full trip and then transfer the rest of those pills into a separate bottle because you're only allowed to take what you need for the trip and it has to be under 30 days for certain laws. So I have to like basically count out like 16 pills per each bottle, have the whole big bottle taking, taking, taking the whole big bottle with me and then fitting that all in here, which is fine. It all fits, which is great. But you know, that's just, that's how I'm getting it into the country. I actually also, one of my medications is like 100% illegal to import or export without like a very specific paper documentation, which I had to like, 
submit to get doctor's notes and like all that thing. It's uh, called the Yanyu Kakuin Show, and uh, it was just like an ordeal. But I got permission from the medical head branch office pe people in Japan that I, I'm going to be getting the paperwork, so I'm able to take that medication to the country. Great, that's important. <laughs> kind of need it to function, so that's good. But yeah, so that's how I'm getting the bag in, and so this is going to be my daily bag, and it does fit obviously a fair amount. It fits more than my soft trunk. So if I want to carry like a small water bottle with me, I probably won't. But if I did, like I'll have that option, obviously a little bit of a bigger wallet, um, some more things. I probably won't pack this very full. So I'm probably going to be carrying about as much as I'm going to be carrying in my soft trunk. But I, I think it's such a pretty bag. I really want the opportunity to really utilize it. And the fact that I'm going to be out and about in Japan, which is a really safe country, it's going to be beautiful weather. I'm not going to be worried about rain. And if it does rain, I have my, my trunk instead. And I just really wanted the ability to really use this out and about. And I loved being able to do that with my Delvo last year in Italy. I wore that almost every day and I really enjoyed matching outfits to it and picking things for it and just being able to carry it. And so I wanted the opportunity to do that with my Kelly. And so that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'm really excited about the opportunity to do so. I also want to really quick let you know, so this is the box Capsellier style. So it's very stiff leather and it's a very stiff style. I did previously make a video about box calf leather. So I'll link that for you if you're interested in in that because I, I did talk about like box cap leather specifically what it is how it's made and what it means about like what a bag is when it's made of it but I've actually figured out like I was having a really hard time with the clasp of this bag because it's quite fiddly and because the leather is so stiff it's been hard to like open and close at my leisure but I'm, I'm kind of figuring out the trick of it so like I kind of like know more about figuring out how to operate the angles, and so it's a little bit easier to get in and out of now, which I really appreciate. Like I'm sort of figuring that out. I'm not sure if I'll be carrying it with the angles like loose like this, because I do like the style, or if I'm gonna just uh, reattach them every single time. But it really doesn't take as much effort as I thought it would, and it it it, it flows a little bit simpler to do it now. So I probably will be holding my phone in my hands. Uh, as opposed to keeping it in in the bag or maybe in my pocket if I have something with the pocket But I'm not as concerned about like if I need to reach my wallet Like how do I do that? It's like I can just like, you know Shove my phone in my pocket and open it really fast or or if my phone is already in there Like I can open it get my wallet out get my phone out and that'll be Convenient or not convenient, but like easy enough, you know, so I'm I'm not too concerned about carrying this bag And you know, it'll be trial by fire if I really get sick of it I can wear my trunk, but I'm really excited to wear this bag as I have said a lot of times in this video So there you have it. Those are the four bags that I'm taking with me to Japan. I leave in just a few weeks I am so very excited. I have such a lot of stuff planned. I've so got so many things that I'm going to be doing We're gonna be spending several days in Kyoto. We're gonna be going to the Studio Ghibli theme park Which I'm very excited about because I love those movies. Uh, we're going to be going, I said, to Tokyo Disney Sea. I'm going to be doing some shopping in Shibuya, Shinjuku, Harajuku, like all that sort of thing. I, I'm going to be trying to take you guys with me. I'm going to be doing my best to vlog the trip. So I hope that you uh, stick around for that and stay tuned. I would love to know what you think about my picks. If you think that I am taking way too much with me, or you think that this is a reasonable amount for what I'm doing, uh, hopefully. Uh, if you recently traveled or if you do like to travel, what is a bag that is like your go-to travel bag? I'd love to hear about it. And if you like this video, please do give it a like. It super duper helps the algorithm and subscribe for more content that helps their algorithm even more. And if you just say subscribe, you'll be able to see more about my Japan journey because I am really excited to share that with you. So I hope that you do so. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.